Hey everyone, I'm here in Wilbur, Nebraska. I've got some meetings with some ministers from both the Tri-Cities and the Capitol section today. And this is kind of a cool place because this is the largest city in Saline County, which is one of the 20 or so counties in Nebraska where we don't yet have an AG presence. So I'm gonna ride my bike around town later and just pray and dream about what God might do here in this place. Um, I wanted to talk real quickly about the value of teamwork in our network. And uh, it's one of the core values that we have, number two, collaboration. Recently, I was preaching at my home church in Bellevue. And one of the cool things they do is they assign one of their security personnel to shadow me throughout the day. So wherever I went, there he was on, around the corner protecting me and keeping me safe. And an added bonus, he was an old friend of mine that uh, recently got credential with the network. I want to ask you this, who in the network is watching your back? I want to talk about three areas where we can be great teammates together. The first is in the area of global workers. Um, we have right now about 28, 29 global workers who are assigned to mission fields across the street in our communities and sometimes all the way around the world. And they can't get to their destination until our churches raise the support for them. I want to thank you for always having conversations with missionaries that are asking for help and for trying to make room and add people to your roster. And when you do, prioritizing our Nebraska missionaries as a first option. Our goal is to grow to 40 global workers by 2027. And if we all work together, I know we can hit that target. The second area is in the area of PACs. You've heard me say before that I think every church could be in a life-giving relationship with at least one other church through a PAC relationship. Now, uh, there's three models of PACs in Nebraska. First is the parent assimilated model, uh, which is essentially a merge. Second is the national parent affiliated church model, which is when one church governs another, usually for a period of time, and at the end of that time, they vote on whether it remains permanent or not. And then the third is the Nebraska specific partner assisted model, which is where two or more churches work together in a defined set of expectations in an MOU with the network. Now, it's an expectation of the national office that every lead pastor of an Assemblies of God church would carry a credential. But it's also an expectation with the campuses that the campus pastors would be pursuing a credential at a bare minimum. Now, we've grown in Nebraska at such a rate that many of our campus pastors are not yet credentialed with the network, although they carry a local church credential. And within that is the expectation that it's a four-year deadline, and there is an expectation that they would be pursuing a credential with the network. So I just want to encourage us to keep helping our campus pastors move in that direction because those new campuses are places where vision components are growing at an incredible rate, and we're seeing lots of emerging leaders raise up that we'd love to see pursue a credential just like their campus pastor. And then the final area of collaboration and teamwork would be within our vision teams. As you know, this last year, our vision team and Presbytery have been working together so much so that now I literally refer to them as the Presbytery Vision Team. They oversee healthy ministers, leading healthy ministries that multiply. But there's lots of teams that exist underneath that vision that you can serve on, just like we ask the members of our churches to serve in our churches. Um, places like youth and kids ministry teams, um, our Chi Alpha Committee, the Finance Committee, missions teams and church planning teams, uh, healthy ministers team, ministries teams, multiplication, church mobilization, uh, Hispanic ministers, network group leaders, and the list goes on and on. Think about what you're passionate about. Talk to your presbyter or one of our executives and we'll help you find a place within the vision where you can serve. I just want to encourage you, make sure somebody's got your back in the network and try to be a great teammate to the others that are part of the Nebraska Ministry Network. Until next time, always walk holy, work hard, and worship him. God bless.